guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to guide you on how to create this logo design using Pizzle application i know i said we right don't worry at the end of the video you're going to find out who are the we all right so as usual make sure to like this video and also subscribe to my channel that is if you're new here so after you've done that let's get right into today's tutorial okay so we're going to be using Pizzle application, so you want to make sure you open the application first. So once you open the application, this is what you're going to see first. And um, I'm going to double click on this here. Then I'm going to delete this. And I'm just going to use A. All right, then I click done. Then I click OK. All right, then I change the font. I'm going to go to font. And I'm going to use this particular font, Sigoi yeah whatever then after i've done that i'm going to increase the size a little and i'm going to change the color i'm going to be using a black color for now then i'm going to increase the size put it in the middle then once we've done that we're just going to select shapes and we're going to use a triangular shape all right i'm just going to put it right here reduce the size a little and I'm just going to use that triangular shape to cut out that dash between the letters. Sorry, um, to cut to cut out that dash in the A letter A. Anyway, you guys get what I'm saying. So after we've done that, then we're just going to join the two layer together. That's the A and the triangular shape. Something like this. Then I click OK. Then after we're done that, we're just going to head over to erase color to remove the white color. So I click enabled and then we're just going to increase tolerance to about 20 and smooth edges to one. Okay. Then once we've done that, the next thing we're going to do is to go to shapes. I'm going to change the color to black. Then I'm going to head over to mask. All right. Then I'm going to take this here. And I'll take this out, take this out, and I'm just going to bring this one here down. And this one, I'm going to take it up a little. Okay, so once I've achieved that, I'm going to click on Enabled. Then I'm going to click on Copy using this, no, using this tool here. Then I'm going to take this here, and I'm going to take this here. Then I'm just going to try to create a curve shape out of this so let's just do it all right i think that should be okay then click out all right okay so then i click okay all right so once we've done that i'm going to take this reduce it a little two, and i'm just going to put it right here yeah something like that then after i've done that i'm going to create a copy all right then i'm going to turn it like that and put it right yeah then i create another copy and i'm just going to turn it again and i'm just going to put it somewhere there let's take it up a little and i think we have done an amazing job anyway so after we've done that then i'm going to go to shapes i'm going to use uh, a star shape this time around then i'm going to change the color to black then once i've done that i'm going to stroke come down and i'm just going to increase stroke width to about uh, five then i'm going to change the color of the stroke width right now it's in black so i'm going to be using white all right let's increase the stroke width a little to about uh, 10 not just 10. all right then i'm going to reduce it reduce it 
and I'm just going to reduce it a little and bring it um, bring it somewhere there yeah so let's reduce it a little again I think that's okay I think we should also add um, a stroke again. Let's just take this one. Okay. That should do it, I guess. Right? Yeah, I think that's okay. So, after we've done that, we're just going to join everything together. So, we'll come here, click, 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 then click this, then click OK. And I'm just going to go to erase color again. Then I click enable. All right, so we've done an amazing good job. Then I'm just going to leave the rest of the video to my very good friend Ishan. Ishan is an Indian um, person, and he's just going to guide you guys in the rest of the video. All right, thank you. I will see you guys at the end of this tutorial. Okay, thank you guys so much for this opportunity to be here. So, uh, after we've done this, um, we are going to take this to the middle. Okay, then we are going to select this plus uh, icon. Then we click on this text. Okay, then we bring this down. Then we change the text to uh, a dash solutions okay then we change the letters to capital letters then we click okay then we are going to change the font so we click font and we are going to use this particular font okay then we are going to increase the size of the two then we are going to add spacing to the letters so let us increase this to about uh, about uh, about uh, uh, thirteen. All right. Then we are going to reduce the size of the two. Then we are going to put this uh, in the middle. Then we are going to change the color to black. Okay. Then we are going to reduce this. A little then put it in the middle yeah something like that so once we have done that we are going to join the layer together so we put this and put this and we are going to click okay okay then after we've done that we are going to change the color so we click color then we change I will click enabled then we are going to change the gradient to this one here okay okay then we click okay then after we've done that we are going to go to 3d shape then we click enabled then because we are going um, because we are using the, um 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 because we are using uh, Android 10 version, the 3D effect will be having problems. So to solve these problems, we are going to increase the size a little. Okay, so after we've done that, we are going to reduce the depth to, to, to 3. Then we are going to increase the darken to about... 70 okay then after we've done that we are going to go to shadow then we click enabled then we go to inbox then we click enabled and we are going to take bevel to one we take a uh, ambient light 200 then intensity we are going to take it to 67 then after we've done that, we are going to take the specular hardness to about uh, about uh, about uh, 30 or 31. Anyway, then we are going to take the light angle to 
209. So after we've done that, we are going to change the image size to YouTube thumbnail. Okay, then we click OK. So then we are going to add our background. So we come to from gallery, then uh, we are going to add our background. Okay, then we click OK. Then we are going to place our logo on the background. So we come to um, 3D rotate. Then we are going to increase the Y axis to about uh, to 30. 30. Then we put it right here. I think we have done a very, very, very good job. So I'm going to leave the rest of the video to Mayo. So, uh, Mayo. All right, thank you so much, Isan. Uh, yeah, so that is it. Then we are just going to come to this place. We click on save as image. Then uh, I'm just going to take this to Ultra. Then I'm just going to click save to gallery. Then after you click save to gallery, it will be saved on your phone. So that is it. I hope the video was helpful. If you have helpful, please make sure to like this video. Like I said at the beginning of this video, come on, just help us out. Seriously, liking the video is going to help this channel or this video so very much. You guys don't know. So please like the video. You can also share with someone who you feel may find the video helpful. And um, leaving a comment will be super, super, super amazing. And I also like to reply to comments. So definitely you're going to get a reply from me. So that's all for today. And I will see you guys next Friday. Bye for now.